tunaenda kuongeza 119 119 katika nyimbo zetu za ukufu usima ni nao ni daima uzima ni Yesu mwokozi 119 na kenda
ndio mtakatifu baba katika jina la Yesu Asante kwa maana watosha hapana yeye kama wewe Jehova jina la Yesu Jehova nisi ni Jehova shano Mungu wa Israeli Upewe sifa hapana yeye kama wewe Nani mwingine wa kupatia shukurani katika muda huu wa jioni ni wewe peke yako Jehova jire simba wa Yuda Mungu usiyeshindwa Asante kwa maana watosha Asante kwa nyimbo ambayo tumekuimbia katika jioni ya leo Baba nyimbo zenye mafuta nyimbo za kutufikisha katika ufalme wa mbinguni nyimbo za kutukumbusha safari ya kwenda mbingu katika jina la Yesu Kristo unastahili baba onekana sasa katika ibada hii katika Karibu sasa papa Karibu 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 baba Katika chela yesu Acha wa maika wa mingu Wazumuka na kuzigira Katika chela yesu Tusiruji kama kitu nivyo kucha Oh hallelujah Badilisha kila roho Amba yumeone kana Katika ibada hii Mwamba wetu mtakatifu Kumbuka wenye wakonchiani Uwafikishi ya pasalama Kumbuka baba Kumbuka 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 Katika chela yesu kristo Asante kwa mara watosha amani ya kuwe pamoja nasi katika jioni ya leo tunaamini kwamba utakuwa pamoja nasi kupitia jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareti tunaomba hivyo amen 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 bwana Yesu asifiwe tunashukuru Mungu kwa siku ya leo tunasema asante kwa bwana amen tungibe
Karibishani mara tena. Maana Daudi alizungumza kitu kikubwa kimfunua akasema katika mambo yote niliyoyaona na nifurahie waliponiambia niende katika nyumba ya Bwana. Amen amen. Maana Daudi alijua siri ya kuwa katika presence ya Mungu. Hapa kuna ufungulifu, hapa kuna uponyaji, hapa kuna miujiza yako, hapa kuna kuwa jibu la mahitaji yako, hapa kuna kuwa jibu la magonjwa yako ndio maana akasema katika mambo yote nilifurahia waliponiambia twende katika presence ya Mungu unapokuwa katika presence ya Mungu jisikie kwa na furaha amen amen, amen. tunasema karibu kwa baba yetu mchungaji pamoja na mama tutawasumbua tena msimamo na tunashangilia kwa nguvu kwa ajili ya presence yao katika pamoja nasi tunasema mkaribie na Mungu awabariki kuwa pamoja nasi kwa siku ya leo. Amen amen. Tunakuwa na mama yetu mama mtumishi mama Fia pia tutamwomba kusimama kwa heshima ya Mungu ili tushangilie kwa ajili yake. Mama tunakukaribisha karibu na Mungu akubariki kuwa pamoja nasi. 
Tunakuwa na mtumishi wetu Filipo Evangelist pamoja na mama tutawasimamisha pia ili tushakilie kwa ajili yao. Tunasema mkaribie na Mungu wabariki kuwa pamoja nasi. Tunakuwa na mtumishi mbali tunasema karibu pamoja na mama tunasema mkaribie na Mungu wabariki kuwa pamoja nasi kwa siku ya leo. Tunakuwa na mtumishi wa Mungu shemasi wetu papa papa vlozetu tunasema karibu pia baba na Mungu akubariki kuwa pamoja nasi kwa siku ya leo. Amen amen. Tunakuwa na mama yetu mama mkurugenzi pamoja na mama mkurugenzi makamu tunaomba nyote mkaribie katika nyumba ya Bwana katika jioni ya leo na Mungu awabariki pamoja nasi. Amen amen. Na mimi nakaribisha mke wangu atakaye kama anafika nyuma mama karibu na Mungu akubariki kwa pamoja nasi kwa siku ya leo. Amen. Amen amen. Kila siku na mwacha kaji yako. Najua tena mama. Amen. Wakiingia mkio awangalie saa mambo yanaenda. Mama karibu na Mungu akubariki. Amen amen. Nimo nawaza kio ni kitoshe. Sikwetu nyumba. Tunakaribisha wamama wote mkaribie na Mungu wabariki kuwa pamoja nasi tena kwa hii jioni ya leo. Wamama tunawapenda sana mkaribie na Mungu wabariki. Tunakaribisha wamama wote mkaribie na Mungu wabariki kuwa pamoja nasi kwa hii jioni ya leo. Amen amen. Hatutakosa kukaribisha vijana wa fulano kwa usichana pamoja na watoto wetu tunawapenda sana mkaribie na Mungu wabariki kuwa pamoja nasi mara tena. Amen. Basi tunakwenda kukaribisha baba yetu mchungaji ili alete ukaribisho wa kipekee kwa wageni wetu ambao tunao hapa. Baba karibu na Mungu akubariki. Tunashangilia kwa makofi. Baba na Mungu akubariki. Tunamshukuru Mungu mara tena kupata neema kuwa hapa kwa siku ya leo. Mungu ametujalia tangu siku ya ine hadi leo tuko na mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye alitulisha neno la Mungu na anaendelea kutulisha neno la Mungu. Tumeomba kusimama Bishop Moses Omuse kutoka Kenya. Ameshikizwa na mama mtungaji Kuto naomba wasimame wote wawili. na hiyo tuko na mwingine kijana wetu kutoka e, mtata ngoma tunamwomba kusimama ili tumkaribishe pamoja na watu wengine. Naomba kwa wima tu na mama mtungaji kwa wima pamoja na kijana ili tuwakaribishe sawa sawa na desturi ya watoto wa Mungu. Tomba msimame. Moja, mbili, tatu. Haribu wa ndugu wa Mungu awabariki pamoja nasi. Tawasalimia tena. Moja, mbili, tatu. Haribu wa ndugu amani. Tushangilie na wale wa karibu na wale wa Mungu. Tunaendelea kusema karibu kwa gogo wetu. Kuyo njo mama yetu, tunapo mwona, tunajaa furaha na shangwe, maana nilie mwona mekupa, kachika njoma yetu hapa, aleloya. Tunakuwa na kiana wetu kuya na ye, kwa jina na itua Shandra, tamomba tuwa simame, na tunashangilia kwa jini yake, kumuona ni mwona 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 Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tushangilie kwa makofi na vigelegele. Amen amen. Mungu anatupenda sana. Amen. Tutakwenda kumshukuru Mungu kwa yale ambayo Mungu anatutendea. Kila mara Mungu anatutendea mambo makubwa ambayo tuyaweziweza weza kuyashuhudia. Lakini pamoja na Mungu tutakwenda kuyashuhudia maana ni miujiza, ni ushuhuda mkubwa ambao Kristo ametenda katika maisha yetu. Amen amen. amen. Kama unakuwa hapa na jambo la kumwambia Mungu asante kwa machache kwa yale ambayo Mungu amekutendea tunakukaribisha. Karibu kwa kumshukuru Mungu kwa yale ambayo Mungu amekutendea.
Hakuna tutakwenda kunyosha mikono ya shukrani mbele za Mungu. Pia mikono ya mahitaji. Karibu wapi kwaya inatupatia nyimbo moja na tunamtulia Mungu sadaka zetu za shukrani. Karibu wapi kwaya wanatupa wimbo moja na tunamtulia Mungu sadaka zetu za shukrani.
Mwishi Filipo kuondoa e, mikono ya shukurani na maitaji Pia na kukumbuka wangonjwa Dugu yetu mkoni kiprofe na mgonjwa Pia tutakuenda kukumbuka kwa maombi pamoji na wangonjwa wengine karibu Baba Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo Tunakushukuru, tunasema asante Kwa maana uwe ni Mungu mwema, Mungu wa ishara, Mungu wa maajabu Tunakushukuru kwa kutulinda, kwa kutuwezesha tonekane machoni pako Tumenyosho mikona ya shukrani Kwa kusema asante kwa yote ambayo buwana mabuwana wandelea kututendea Ni mengi ambayo buwana kilo moja ingiliweza kupita hapa na kuyanena Alakini kwa mafupi tumenyosho mkono Tuseme asante kwa alama ya kusema asante buwana Kwa maana weo unastahili unaenea Kwa yote ama ondele ya kututendea Maisha yetu buwana yuko katika mikono ni mwako Maitachi yetu Pia buwana tunayaweka mikono ni mwako Baba tumenyosha mikono Kwa alama ya kuonesha maitaji Ambawe tunakuwa na yutakatifu Tunaomba uya nshibu Tunaomba uya onekanie Tunaomba uya fungue Katika china la Yesu Kristo na zarete Pangusa machozi ya walio wako Pangusa machozi ya kalisa Pangusa machozi ya uyu mama mali hapa Pangusa machozi ya ubaba hapa Katika china la Yesu Kristo na zarete Baba tunakutumainia Kwa yote ambao tukonda kuyatenda kwa itu Katika china la Yesu Kristo na zarete Tukiamini ya kwamba buwana Utakwenda kutugusa Wagonjwa na mazaibu Ambao buwana tukona wakatika kalisa hili Tukiamini ya kwamba utakwenda kuwa ponya Katika china la Yesu Kristo na zarete Gusa yu baba ambayo ni mgonjwa Anasumuliwa na magonjwa buwana Hakuna mganga mungine ambayo ni naoza ni kaita muda kama na huu Ni na kuita wa mganga wa achabu Baba uwezu kumonekania Umuponya Yesu Kristo Umufungue katika hali ya magonjwa Katika jina na Yesu Kristo Na hafya mbingu mtawale mani ya lipo Akisimama na kurukaruka Na kuleta ushuda mbele zako Katika mkutano huu buwana Tunasema asatu kwa mwana watotupungukia Baba utoko pamoja nasi Katika jina la Yesu Kristo Buwana mokozo itu Amen 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 Buwana Yesu asifiru Tunakaribisha wale wote ya mfika nyuma Tunasema mkaribi na mungu pia wabariki Amen Tukioma wale wako nyuma tafazali Wapani huku viti ya mbele Tafazali Kwa moja na kuchelewa Tukipani viti ya mbele Tutakuenda kuwa wima sote Ili tuende kumusifu mungu na kumuabudu Na tunatoa sadaka zetu Pamoja na chakumi Tukisimama sote Bene tumusifu mungu Kuna mtu ambaya mifika nyuma Na naitaji kumishikuru mungu Basi hacha bene tusifu mungu Tumkaribishe aje kushukuru mungu kwa yali mungu wa memtedea Karibu kwa kumishukuru mungu na mungu wa bariki Tunana mkupli kia ndugu samso Karibu na mungu wa bariki Kwa kumishukuru mungu Kini kwa majabu na makuu Mwenizibungu wale mtendea Lazima ni ushudie Amen Nenajua kwa mba buda hakuna Nanisha chelewa, samani sana Gari, siwe tuna magari tativa Kwa mba Kwa mba ni mbubu 
eh, inajua kwa watumishi wa, wa Mungu walikuwa wengi wa kusawishi lakini ikajua kwamba hapa nyumbani kuko Mungu wa kweli amen eh, baada kupoteza mtoto mwaka jana nilimpoteza ilikuwa tu dakika ishirini alikuwa mzima na uzima wake baada ya kuwasiliana naye kusimu kuna nafasi ilikuwa kufika nyumbani nikakutana mtoto anafariki nikakosa na kufanya nikachanganyikiwa yeye mwenyewe nikakosa A wala B nikaanza muua maamuzi ya ajabu sana lakini pamoja na hiyo ninashukuru sana kanisa lote kwa kunyonga mkono na zaidi na shukuru tuna mchungaji kweli unajua na pia na heshima kwao lakini mchungaji wetu mimi sitamshudia zaidi mko yangu atamshudia zaidi so kupitikana mengi nilikuwa nitambua mko yangu tena anakuwa mjamzito baada ya miezi miwili baada alikuwa mjamzito hii mkuu ikavimba ana mezi tatu mkuu ikavimba nikajuliza mwimba mezi tatu mkuu itaza vimba je so kupata jibu nikauliza watu e, wako na akili zao ifo kusema tu kweli makanipatia dawa kunipatia dawa nikamkumbisha kawembe hapo nikachana miguu yote damu ikavua nikapakana ile masisi ya mausi yote kila kitu mgulo ishuki basi nikasema hapa sasa ndo kazi iko kabisa kumbe dawa naye na roho yake bati ya sibu eh, mtumishi wa Mungu kwa sababu nyumbani nyumbani eh ndugu Filipo sio Filipo ndugu Filipo alikuwa anatembelea mbali kwa inatumikia kana kwa inaishi kisha sana muona nikamwesikia kabiwa alikuwa na tatizo hapo ilisha nipita ilisha nipita kabisa kiasi nikamwambia ikiwezekana unisaidie nombe umama ndugu Filipo akaingia pale akapaza sauti nikamwambia ombe na kazi kwa sababu kazi vitu vilikuwa na fukana mpasa basi bafanya kazi wajukulie furaha kitezote wafanye nini ukimwambia hiki mnatoka chini Filipo akapaza sauti akapaza sauti akapaza sauti kulamuka msumu yake mguli kashuka amen nikajikausha kupea shukuru Mungu. Roho kakwa tena nguvu vile vile tusaiona. Yaani mimi nazijataiona. Kuikala 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 baada tena mwezi ile miguu tena ikarudia. Vile vile tena kaongezeka sana kupita bara sasa yeye yeah, hapa sasa game inakuwa ngumu hapa. Nikasema hapana. Acha nite baba yangu imani. Anisaidie mwa vita hata kama niko kuzaifu mimi na nyinyi sitaenda kwa zingine wa kanisa sitaenda kwa pastor wa kupakana na mamaji wa kufa nini sieni naenda kule kule kwa wangu wa imani nikamjongelea mchungaji nikamwambia mchungaji akanizea kuna tatizo tafadhali sauti kwa Mwenyezi Mungu hapo mimi yangu mimi peko na komala inajongelea kuzaliwa samani kwa kamata muda najua mtajisikia vibaya na nachukua mtu Mkiomba kenda kwa hospitali mara wa daktari anamwambia la uzima tumtoe mtoto mtungu kwa mtemo wa shida. Mimi nikasema hapana itawezekana. Achana nao. Akienda kwa hospitali, oh mtoto yuko na kisukari. Akienda kwa hospitali, akienda tena kufanga kwa hospitali, yeye amwambia tena mtoto si asimboni gashi. Asiazi ugima kitu. Akienda yani vitu vimeniweki tu. Ah, nikasema hapa kazi kwa kwa yeah, hii kazi inaleta nishinda. Bas. Ikafika kipindi wanaleta wana sema mtoto kuna stress. Hey! Nikajiuliza sasa mtoto kuna stress hadi baba marendu. Mbona mimi kwa mtoto marendu? Hizi stress zitoka hapa. Nikasema mwana ni kuroga. Bas. 
Sawi tu nanti nak nak kau guru nasi apa? Mitu cian sih kau. Ibu aku ansetik pasar Saudi. So sita Saudi sana, kau Saudi tu nak kuenta. Nada sewa, ina usukur mungu sana kwa kazi ya utungaji alio jifamia kufika utoto wa funguliwe ila kitawachia uke wangu yepe kito ashuti yewe Amen You know me already. Yes, I'm Tim Pomashala from Pumalanga Pushpa Krish, but currently staying in Devon. Mm. <laughs> I'm very speechless, yeah. but I want to thank God above all. There are a lot of people I want to thank in this church because this church has done a lot for me. It's my first time to come here, but you have already done a lot for me. Uh, above, I want to thank God. That's the first thing I'll say. And secondly, I would like to thank my husband. He introduced me to this church. Beside the church, he introduced me to his father, which was Pastor Choma Choma. I would like to thank him very much. Can you please clap the hands for me? Chama became a pastor in this church, but I knew him as a father. He is a father to my husband, that's why I'm saying he's a father to me. When I was in a lot of situation, a lot of problems, he was there for us. He was able to stand and say, please, bring back your strength, my child. I know it's not easy, but it's worth it. So even today, Whenever I say God has done a lot for me, but I will never forget the light that made me to, sh to see God. Because Pastor Shoma Shoma was the light that showed me that God really exists. Because I didn't believe that, honestly. I didn't believe that he really exists. But he made me to see and to believe. Amen. Firstly, last year in August is the same month. I'm left with two days only to remember that day. It was 8 August in the morning around 5 to 6 o'clock. I lost a son. My son was not sick. Uh, it was 20 minutes after his sleep and my son was no more. It was not easy. Uh, when I lost the son, I felt like I lost everything in life that I was ready to lose my life for him. But Pastor Choma Choma was always there for us. He guided us, he prayed for us. He has uh, gave us a lot of prayers that makes me and my husband to be staying on our feast today. Amen. I thank him so much. Um, when he prayed for us, uh, two months later, after my son passed away, I was pregnant again, and it was a miracle. Amen. I was going to the small clinic in Beatrice, it, it's called Beatrice. Yeah. My first day there at the clinic, they told me I need to be transferred to Edinburgh because I've got a lot of complications in my pregnancy. I started again to cry. I say, is it going to repeat? But Pastor Choma Choma was there also. She said, no, it will never happen again. You just need to do what? To believe. Then you know that our prayers will be stronger. Amen. We went to Edinton. There were a lot of complications. The next day I will go, they said, BP. The next day I will go, it's sugar diabetes. The other day, my baby has stress. The other day, I've got a lot of water in my womb. They don't know what is happening to their baby. The other day, maybe you will get an operation soon. It was very difficult. But a week before uh, my baby came to the world, 
I came to Pastor Chumachuma. He prayed also. A day before I go to the hospital because they sent me an appointment, I didn't even get the labor pains. If I'm telling you, it was very difficult. There were no signs that I can conceive, but it was the time for me to conceive. I came to Pastor Choma Choma, it was 8 o'clock at night. I said, I can't sleep without going there. Even if it can be at, uh, in the middle of the night, but I will arrive because I need those prayers. Amen. They've done the wonders for me, and I want them to be there for me also, even today. He prayed for me also. He went to my house, he prayed. Tomorrow morning when I was going, I packed my bag and I went to the hospital. I just stayed there. It was Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, my husband came to see me around past three. There were no signs that I would make a baby soon. But an hour after my husband left me, I conceived the baby. Thank you so much. My baby was 5 kg when she came to the world. Without a scratch, woman knows what I'm talking about. Because God do the wonders. We don't believe, but God is there. Uh, when I'm saying this, is because, guys, you are very lucky. You are very lucky because you have got Pastor Choma Choma as your father. And today I want to be one of you. I don't even want to wait for you to tell me. I want to be one of you. I don't even want to wait for someone to tell you to please chop. Um, Pastor Choma Choma, I would like to thank you, Father. You have never only become a pastor to me, you have never only became a father-in-law, but you became a my father figure. Yeah. And I thank you for that. Uh, please, guys, if you can be able to bring people like me, I'm a South African, but today I'm standing with my head high to say I'm proud of this church. I know. You don't have to have that thing, Yoguti, because I'm a Congolese. Maybe when I'm talking to this one, she will say, what do I know? But we are talking about one God. Amen. And Jesus really exists if you believe in him. That's why I'm saying, even if that person can be from anywhere, anywhere in South Africa, but if that person is sick, don't be shy to recommend that person to you. On December, uh, last year after the prayers, I was pregnant and we opened a new salon. Mm. We've got two salons now. Amen. Amen. And it was all because of the prayers from this church. Amen. God is great at all times if you believe. And there's a verse that says, every woman who has walked with God always have a story to tell because actually I am strong today because of the situations I went through if it wasn't because of the situation I wouldn't be who I am and if it wasn't me it was supposed to be who it was supposed to be me actually so I don't need to say God why me if it wasn't me it was supposed to be who because God can, God can use anyone and God chooses anyone. Amen. Even through the darkness, there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. Amen. We might see the darkness today, but the light coming through that darkness. That's why the fire is not to destroy us, but to show the power of God. Amen. I've been through fire. I've been through hell. I've been through a lot. But I'm here today. Amen. So if it wasn't me, it was supposed to be who. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I know a lot of people maybe are shy or scared to tell other people. Please recommend people to come to this church. Amen. Because I am the true testimony. I'm the true testimony. I don't want to say someone said I'm a true testimony of what this church has done for us. Amen. 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 I, con I conceived my baby. 
I didn't have a BP, I didn't have a sugar diabetes, there were not too much water, my baby didn't have a stress. I got a healthy, beautiful baby girl. It was on 25th, um, May 2023. That's when I conceived. I got a baby girl. And thank you so much, guys, for welcoming me. It's not easy to stand in front of the people and say, but today I, I took this opportunity. Because if I don't take it today, there's no tomorrow sometime. Yeah, sometime tomorrow never comes. That's what English people say. So I need to take this opportunity today and tell you how grateful I am to be part of you guys. I'm very grateful. And actually, uh, my husband has always guided me along the way. He never hides me. Uguti. Pastor Choma Choma is my father. Can you please, if you follow this man, you must know that your life will be okay. And I'm happy to say, uh, this year in January, I didn't have the staff workers. I was working by myself. I didn't have a lot of things were complicated. But today, we have two salons. Amen. In any of the salons, maybe other side we have eight people, ah. and that side we have uh, it's about six people Amen. who are working Amen. under us. It, was, it wasn't easy, but because God is there.
Acha tu mwabudu mungu Kwa yale ambayo mungu wana tutende Mungu wana tutende mimamo makubwa Na maachabu katika maisha yetu Na itaju ushushi mwe wakuwa mwabudu mene za mungu Hili umabie buwana asante kwa nema ya kikwetu
Yesu Nani kama wewe Alpha and Omega Nani kama wewe Jehovah Jireh Nani kama wewe Jehovah Nisi Nani kama wewe Jehovah Shai Baba tuna surrender before you this afternoon Baba tuna nyosha mikono yetu mbele zako Wastahili kuabudiwa maana pele yako na nyuma yako Mungu hakuna Mungu mwingine kama na wewe Amen. Ina fraa sana, pata nafasi 
Do we can we have an interpreter? Amen. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Amen. Katika kitabu cha Ezekiel chapter number 4 verse number 18 or 18 4 18 4 18 4 Tunasoma Amen Mimi na mnani mstari wa 4 Ezekiel anasema Mhm Tazama roho zote ni mali yangu kama vile roho ya baba ni mali yangu ndivyo ilivyo roho ya ya mwana mali yangu roho ile itendayo zambi itakufa amen 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 the, you, know, you, know, you know in your bible when you are reading the bible katika biblia wakati unasoma biblia you have to check very important key points unapasha kutizama kabisha maneno yafuatayo here the key point is hapa Leno ambalo tukinina lengwa It says the last word The soul who sins Is the one who will die Katika vesi ya mwisho na sema ya kwamba Roo ile itendayo zambi itakufa Amen So the Bible says You know you see it says You know The, 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 the soul of an old person And mwili, the soul of a young person Mwili Mwili au roo ya mtu mzima Au ya mtu mdogo Matters a lot before God. Matters a lot. It matters a lot. Ina ina kuwa mui mumbele zamungu. Amen. It matters a lot. Ina kuwa mui mumbele zamungu. Everybody who is seated here. Everybody who is seated here. Ata who you are by your mali apa. I want to assure you. Nataka ni kuwa kikishi. You are at the right place. Ugo katika mali pazu. God is taking care of you. Mungu anachukua na atakuenda kukulinda. God knows you are here. Mungu anajua ya kwamba uko hapa. Whether you are old, kama uko mzee, whether you are a child, kama uko mtoto, God knows you are here. Mungu anajua kama uko mahali hapa. But he says, lakini anasema, the heart that sins shall die. Moyo ambao inafanya dhambi itakufa. So we must guard our hearts. Kwa hiyo tunapaswa kulinda moyo wetu. Apart from everything we have, you must guard your heart diligently. Mahali ya kila kitu chochote kile tunapaswa kulinda kwa makini moyo wetu. If you look today, kama tunaangalia leo, everywhere you go, mahali pote ambapo unapokwenda, everyone is trying to guard his family. Kila mtu anaangalia kisi ya kuilinda familia yake. Everybody is trying to guard his country. Kila mtu anaangalia kisi ya kuilinda nchi yake. You know people are forgetting that you must first of all guard your heart. Watu wanasaulika ya kwamba unapasha pia kulinda moyo wako You need to guard your heart Unapasha kulinda moyo wako Why are we told to guard our heart? Kwa nini tunambiliwa tulinde moyo wetu? Because Kwa sababu The heart is your life Moyo wako ni maisha yako That's where life comes from Nipo maali ambapo maisha yako inatoka The Bible tells me Biblia na niamia kwamba In your heart Katika moyo wako Don't carry any other thing Usiweke kitu chochote kile. Don't carry people. Usiweke watu. The problem today, tatizo za leo, why people are not progressing? Kwa sababu gani watu hawasongi mbele? Why people are not growing spiritually? Kwa sababu gani watu hawasongi wa, mbele kiroho? People carry grudges. Watu wanachukua mabaya. People carry their wealth. Watu wanachukua ma, ma utajiri wao. People carry their houses. Watu wanachukua nyumba zao. They have made their things and go Kuna mambo mengi ambayo ya natiliwa katika moyo That's why God is warning us today Ndiyo kwa maana mungu wa natuambia leo That your heart Moyo wako Is the kingdom of God Ni ufano wa mungu Your heart Moyo wako Matters a lot Inakuwa na Na maana sana That's why Ndiyo kwa maana You don't need to carry anybody Hauna aji ya kuchukua mtu yoyote You don't need to carry people Hauna aji ya kuchukua watu You carry people in your heart. Kama unachukua watu katika moyo wako. God will not have a place in your heart. Mungu hatakuwa nafasi katika moyo wako. We serve a jealous God. We serve a jealous God. Tuna tunasema Yesu tuna tunaabudu Mungu ambaye ana wivu. Tunaabudu 
Mungu ambaye ana wivu. He's a jealous God. Ni Mungu ambaye mwenye wivu. You cannot mix him with any other thing. Hawezi kumchanga na kitu chochote. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot mix God with any other thing. Hawezi kumchanga Mungu na kitu chochote. If you mix your situation becomes worse. Kama unamchanga hali yako inaendelea kuwa mbaya. Hallelujah. Amen. Every time you start thinking to do something bad your situation becomes worse. Kila wakati unatarajia kufanya kitu kibaya hali yako inaendelea kuwa mbaya. That's why the Bible is telling us Ndiyo kwa maana Biblia inatuambia kwamba linda moyo wako. Why are we sitting here? Kwa nini tunakaa hapa? We could be somewhere else right now. Tulipasha kuwa mahali pengine. But because we have guarded our hearts. We have guarded our hearts. Kwa sababu tunalinda moyo wetu. We are here. Tuko hapa. We know who called us. Tunajua yule ambaye alituita. You, you must know yourself who called you. Unapasha jua yule ambaye alikuita. It is not your wife who called you. Haiko mke wako ambaye alikuita. It is not your husband who called you. Haiko mke wako ambaye alikuita. But your creator called you. Lakini muumbaji wa muumba wako ndiye alikuita. He knows you by name. Anakujua katika neno. He knows your weakness. Anakujua kwa madhaifu. He knows your strength. Anakujua kwa nguvu zako. He knows your he knows even your enemies. Anakujua mahali pote. He knows those who, who are fighting you. Anajua yule anakupa Leo nataka ni kuambie kitu kimoja. Kama unalinda moyo wako vizuri. Kama unalinda moyo wako kuanzia asubuhi mpaka jioni. Ninakwambia kwamba utakuwa na amani. Ninakwambia utakuwa na amani. Utamjua Mungu. Mpaka ukatembea naye. Katika jina la Yesu. Biblia inatuambia kwamba. Inatuona kwamba kuliko mambo yote yingine linda moyo wako when you come in the morning wakati unakuwa asubuhi when you go back in the evening wakati unarudi jioni make sure your heart is pure fanya tu moyo wako iko safi that's when hapo ndipo god will use mungu atakutumia that's when hapo ndipo god will drive you to your promised land mungu atakusukuma katika nchi hadi hallelujah amen you will walk to the promised land without any problem utatembea katika nchi hadi bila tatizo yote but if the heart the heart is painted lakini kama moyo wako na shimo mateka you will not see the promised land hautaona nchi hadi that's why children of israel were rotated for 40 years sio kwa maana wana wa israel walitembea miaka makumine and they could not see the promised land na hawakuweza kufika katika nchi hadi because they never guarded their hearts kwa sababu hawakuweza kulinda moyo wao they people are struggling today people are struggling leo watu wanasumbuka the reason why they are struggling kwa sababu gani watu wanasumbuka they have not guarded their hearts hawa hawawezi kulinda moyo wao hawajalinda moyo zao hawajalinda moyo wao if you guard your heart kama unalinda moyo wako god will direct you to the right things mungu atakuongoza katika mambo mazuri if you guard your heart kama unalinda moyo wako you will never cry tears of bitterness hautalia machozi ya huzuni but you will cry tears of joy alaki utalia machozi ya furaha because it comes in the morning kwa sababu anakuja katika asubuhi anakuja jioni anakuja usiku anakuja kugusa wakati uko pale anakuja asubuhi anakuamsha anakuamsha amen amen it is you this morning anakuambia ni asubuhi anakuambia ni asubuhi ndio hallelujah amen so if you cut your heart kwa hiyo kama unalinda moyo wako you will be successful utakuwa unafanyikiwa kabisa people who are successful have guarded their hearts watu ambao wamefanyikiwa wanajua kulinda moyo wao families that are successful they guard their hearts familia ambayo iko successful inajua kulinda moyo wao hallelujah amen familia ambazo zimefaulu wanajua kulinda mioyo zao amen hallelujah amen amen if you are kama umefa, umefaulu katika maisha stand focused to god bakia na to god bakia na ukimtazamia bwana hallelujah amen you know this church is becoming international so we must <laughs> amen hallelujah so give a clap to the lord amen. give a clap to the lord hallelujah amen hallelujah amen. we thank god because of you tunamshukuru mungu kwa sababu yako because you know what you are doing kwa sababu unajua lile ambalo unafanya. That's why you are here. Ndio kwa maana uko mahali hapo. I want to direct you to the promised land right now in the name of Jesus. Nataka nikupeleke katika nchi hii sababu muda kama anauka jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. You know who you are. Unajua wewe uko nani. Utajua Mungu ni nani. You know who is God. Yes. You know God is who. Utajua Mungu ni 
nani? Walk with me to the book of Ezekiel. Tunaenda katika kitabu cha Ezekiel 36. Makumi 36 from verse number 20 24 something around there. Na tunasoma 24. I want us to go through there's something I want you to understand here. Nataka twende pole pole kuna jambo nataka uelewe. I want us to go slowly so that we may understand. Kuna jambo nahitaji uelewe mahali hapa. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we there? I want us to be there together so that we go together. Uko pale nataka tuwe pamoja ili tusome kwa pamoja. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. How you can live in the promised land. Namna gani unaweza ukaishi katika nchi ya hadi? You know, you know people talk too much. Unajua watu wanaongea sana. People can bring up stories. Watu wanaweza kukaleta maneno. That's why sometimes you get believers are confused. Ndio kwa maana leo waamini wanakuwa wanaishi katika maisha ya confusion. Even pastors sometimes confuse the believers. Hata muda mwingine wa pastor wana confuse wa waamini. Because they tell them come to our church is where God is. Wanakwambia kuya katika nisa yetu ndipo mahali Mungu ipo. It is not so. Haiko vile. It is not so. Haiko vile. God is everywhere. Mungu iko mahali pote. If you know somebody is from that church, just encourage her, encourage him to be there. Kama unajua mtu iko mahali katika kanisa fulani, mpatie nguvu aendelee kuwa katika kanisa ile. Hours we are called to give encouragement. Sisi tumeitwa tuweze kupana nguvu to build people in the world. To build people in the world. Kujenga watu katika neno. That's why the Bible says Ndiyo kwa maana neno la Mungu linasema we must guard ourselves. Tunaposha kujilinda peke yetu. Anything that comes that does not benefit you, you tell your mind, ah uh ah, -uh, I don't receive this. Kila kitu ambacho kinakuja kina faida, ukiambia kwamba ah ah, stop poke. Anything you hear, you say, God, remove this one from my heart. Kila kitu ambacho kinakuja unasema Mungu hapana, ondoe kitu katika moyo wangu. You can make it. Unaweza kutenda vile. Unaweza kufanya vile. Things that don't benefit you, you don't you don't you don't stop them. Bitu ambavyo havikupatie uh, faida unaweza kuviondoa. Things that don't develop you don't bring into your heart. Vitu ambavyo vikuletea maendeleo don't hapana kuvitia maisha yako. Don't bring them. Hapana kuvileta. Did your heart no this one no. Jiambie moyo wako unasema iki kitu hapana. You have the power. Uko na nguvu. You have the power to tell it. Uko na nguvu ya kuyambia. To tell what does not benefit you, I don't need it. Ya kusema hii kile ambacho akikambia mtu ambaye ana faida kwako unaomba kwamba mimi sikuitaji. Amen. It's the same way you can tell something that somebody has spoken or you have heard in your heart you say you tell your heart this one no. Na ni vile vile ndivyo unaweza kusema na kuambia moyo wako hiki kitu hapana. Why are people sick? Kwa sababu gani watu wanaonjwa? People are sick. Watu wanagonjwa because of all the things they take. Kwa sababu ya vitu ambavyo wanachukua na weka ndani ya moyo. The heart does not want to be loaded. Moyo wako haitajiki kuwa na vitu vingi. No 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 no, the heart does not want to load. Moyo haitaji kuwa na vitu vingi. And we serve Jesus God. Amen. Na tuna tumi tuna tumikia Yesu Kristo kwa Mungu. Ah, tunatumikia Mungu ambaye ana uifu. Tunatumikia Mungu ambaye ana uifu. Is the Jesus God? He does not want you know, to share his glory with anybody. Hapendi kushirikisha utukufu wake na kitu chochote kile. He does not want. Hataki vile. That's why the whole Bible says we serve a Jesus God. Ndio kwa maana neno la Mungu nasema ya kwamba tunatumikia Mungu mwenye wivu. I'm telling you if you guard your heart. Nakwambia kwamba kama unalinda moyo wako. Even in your place of work you, you, you will stay there until you retire. Hata mali ambapo unatumika utapatumika mpaka una, una Unazeka. Ama unastaafu. Au unastaafu. Amen. 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 You will own that place. Utakuwa mahali pale. You will own. All it is uta uta uta. Utatawala na ile nafasi. Exactly. You will own the place. Utatawala na ile nafasi. You will own your business. Utatawala na ile kazi. You will own the people who are working for you. Utatawala na watu wanaotumikia. Why? Kwa sababu gani? You have guarded your heart. Kwa sababu unalinda moyo wako. Hallelujah. Amen. If you guard your heart you will be rich. Kama unalinda moyo wako utatajirika. Riches are in the heart. Utajiri uko katika moyo. Riches are not the ones you see. Utajiri haiko kitu ambacho unaona. The riches you see can go, can leave you anytime. 
Uh, utajiri ambao unaona unaweza ukakuacha muda wote ule. The things you have can lead you any time. Vitu ambavyo uko navyo unaweza ukakuacha muda wote. But when you are rich in your heart. Alakini kama uko tajiri katika moyo wako. I want to tell you. Nataka nikwambie. Those are riches that don't don't fade. Hiyo ni utajiri ambao umalizike. They don't rust. Hauwezi ukaoza. You will always get them in the kingdom of God. You will always get them in the kingdom of God. Uta utakao unaupata katika ufalme wa Mungu. Let us go to this book here. Hata tuna kusoma hili neno. I say in the book of Ezekiel. Katika kitabu cha Ezekiel. Hallelujah. It is concerning you. Inakuhusu wewe. It's concerning me. Inanihusu mimi. You know we are here. Unajua tuko mahali hapa. We are nations. Tuko taifa. Amen. Amen. We are nations gathered here. Tuko taifa. I see I'm from Kenya all the way from Kenya to this place. Unajua natoka Kenya kutoka Kenya mpaka mahali hapa. We are nations. Tuko taifa. This church now is representing nations. Hii kanisa inakusanya taifa. And here what the Lord says about your life and about this church. Na hapa ndipo mahali ambapo Mungu atasema kutokana na maisha yako na kanisa hili. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, somebody can read. Mtu mmoja na akasoma. Aha papa you used to read my mind. Okay. Help us. Are you there? Yes. Okay. You, I want us to go very slowly. Verse number 24. 36:24. 36:24. Yeah. Hallelujah. na katika nchi zote na kuwarudisha katika nchi yenu wenyewe amen amen praise the lord amen. the bible says if you guard your heart biblia inasema kama unalinda moyo wako for i will take you out of the nations nitakutosha katika mataifa i will gather you from all the countries nitawakusanyisha katika nchi and bring you back into my own na kuwarudisha katika mali yenu amen amen he says inasema He will gather his people. Atakusanya watu wake. They are called the remnants. Wale walio baki. Amen. The remnants. Walio baki. God says I will gather them. Mungu anasema atawakusanyisha. That's why God has gathered us here. Ndio kwa maana Mungu ametukusanyisha mahali hapa. He has gathered us here. Ametukusanyisha mahali hapa. He has gathered us here with a reason. Ametukusanyisha mahali hapa na shaba. Not just gathering us. Haiko tu kwa kukusanyika. He has gathered us here with a reason. Ametukusanyisha hapa na shaba. You see the reason. Utaona hiyo shaba. Shuka chini kidogo baba. Endelea. 25 Mm -hmm. Nami nitawa nitawanya nyunyuzia nitawa nyunyuzia maji safi mm -hmm. nani mtakuwa safi mm -hmm. nitawatakaseni na uchafu wenu wote mm -hmm. na vinyago vyenu vyote amen amen you can see unaweza kaona the bible says biblia inasema let me read in english acha nisome kwa kiingereza the bible says i will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean i will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols praise the lord amen god says mungu anasema if you guard your heart kama unalinda moyo wako he will sprinkle clean water atawanyunyuzia maji safi and he will clean us na atatusafisha even if we have sinned hata kama tumetenda dhambi tumetenda dhambi amen amen you, you, you remember the verse we read unakumbuka lile sura ambalo tumesoma it said this inasema hivi the soul of the father uh, moyo wa baba nafsi wa baba assembles the soul of a son na moyo au nafsi ya mtoto belongs to me inakuwa yangu but the, the soul that sinners lakini moyo au nafsi ambayo imetenda dhambi shall die itakufa and here he says na hapo imesema he's going to cleanse us atakwenda kutusafisha so that we don't die kwa sababu tusiwezi fariki he is going to do something atakwenda kufanya kitu the way you have come the way you have come. Yesu umekuja 
is the way God will deal with you. Ndiyo jinsi Mungu atakwenda ku ku kukutendea. Yes. Kukutengeneza. God will deal with you. Mungu atakwenda kukutengeneza. There is no time. Hai hakuna na namna nyingine. There is no time. Hakuna na namna nyingine. Come the way you are. Kuja jinsi umeingia. The Bible says Biblia nasema njoo gisi umekuja na nitakusafisha nitakunyunyuzia maji safi Mungu atakusafisha acha kusikia maneno ya watu acha kusikia maneno Mungu atakusafisha Mungu anatujua anakujua anajua lile ambalo unapitia Haijalishi uzito wa matatizo ambayo uko nao. Mungu analijua. Wakati unamuita, atakuja chini. Anasema ni nitashuka. Na nitasi angalia ile ambayo unalopitia. Na nitakuchukua. And I will lead you to a promised land. Na nitakuongoza katika nchi ya hali. Let's go down and listen to what I say. Acha tushuke chini tusikie lile ambalo anasema 26 anakuja Unajua muda ambao unajiachilia mbele za Mungu. My sister and brothers who are here. Dada kaka ambao uko mahali hapa. I want to assure you something. Nataka ni kuhakikishie kitu kimoja. You know what God requires of us? Kitu ambacho Mungu anahitaji katika maisha yetu. Is us to give give ourselves to the Lord. Ni sisi kuji kujia kumpa Mungu maisha yetu. There is something Paul spoke in the in the Corinthian church. Kuna kitu ambacho Paulo anazungumza katika Wakorinto. Paul said. Paulo anasema the Corinthian church Kanisa la Korinto first of all gave themselves to him kitu kimoja wamejitolea kwake and then they received him akisha wakampokea and then they gave to him akisha wakajipatia haleluya amen you can't give without love hawezi kupana bila kuwa na upendo amen amen you must have love in order to give unapasha kuwa na upendo mbele uweze kupana giving is a heart kupana ni moyo you can have so much but if you don't have I had to give do not give. Unaweza kuwa na vitu vinga lakini kama una moyo kupana hauwezi kupana. How many people have everything but they cannot give up? Ni watu wangapi ambao wako na vitu vingi lakini hawana moyo wa kuweza kupana? What does the Bible say here? What ni kitu gani ambacho neno la Mungu nasema? Talking about the heart of a stone. Biblia inasema ya kwamba moyo wa jiwe. Amen. Amen. People are carrying today the heart of stone. Watu wanachukua moyo wa jiwe siku hizi. A heart that does not want to, to, you know, to honor promises. Moyo ambayo inazuia watu wasiwezi kuona kwenda katika nchi ya hali. Amen. Amen. They don't honor their promises. Yaani our our awashimu hadi zao. Hadi zao. Amen. 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 A heart of stone is sober. Moyo wa jiwe ni moyo mbaya. A heart of stone has no love. Moyo wa jiwe hauna upendo. A lack of a stone. Moyo wa jiwe will not enable you to move to another level. Haiwezi kukusaidia utoke katika ile hatua na kwenda katika hatua nyingine. God says this evening. God says this evening. Mungu anasema magharibi ya leo. He will come and remove it. Atakuja na kuiondoa. It's only God who has the power to remove. Ni Mungu pekee yake ana uwezo ya kuweza kuiondoa. Not any other person. Hakuna mtu mwingine. He says he has the power Anasema iko na uweza. Atakuja na kuiondoa. Na atatia moyo ambao una ya damu na, ya damu na nyama. A heart. Moyo wa kunyenyekea. Moyo ambao unasikia watu wengine. Moyo ambao utasikiliza matatizo ya watu wengine. Nataka nikutie nguvu leo hiyo moyo ya damu na maji iweze kuja katika maisha yako leo kwa sababu kama inakuja katika maisha yako utakomaa 
into your life, you will be rich. Kama itakuja katika maisha yako utatajirika. When it comes into your life, you will expand. Kama itakuja katika maisha yako utaenda mbele utapanuka. When it comes into your heart, you will you, you will live with the spirit. You know, you, the spirit of rejection lives you with it. Kama inakuja katika ifanyie hapo hapa. Mchukue huo Mungu. Ishi na huo Mungu. Kula na huo Mungu. Ishi pamoja naye. Lala pamoja naye. Alikutie nguvu magharibi ya leo. God knows. Mungu anakujua. Anakujua kupitia jina lake. Anakupenda. Sometimes it is us who don't love God. Kuna muda mwingine ni sisi ndiye watumpende Mungu. Lakini Mungu anaendelea kuwa mwaminifu na kutupenda. Anaendelea kutupenda. Nataka nikutie. Baki ndani yangu. Mtazaa matunda mengi. Nataka nikumbushe kitu kimoja. Ninaenda ninarudi katika nchi yangu. Lakini nataka kusikia. It will be my joy to hear. Itakuwa furaha sana kusikia. That the church is growing. Kanisa imekomaa. Every believer is blessed. Kila muamini amebarikiwa. Everybody is blessed. Kila mtu amebarikiwa. Homes are blessed. Nyumbani mmebarikiwa. Our children are blessed. Watoto wetu wamebarikiwa. Hiyo kabisa nitalitia nguvu. I will keep on praying for you. Nitaendelea kukuombea. I will miss you people so much. Nitaendelea kukumbuka zaidi. God bless you so much. Mungu akubariki. Mungu akubariki. Amen. Unaweza kusimama na kuniruhusu niombe. Hallelujah. Katika jina la Yesu. Unaweza kainua tu mkono wako. Inua tu mkono wako. Because this day is a very special day. This day is a very special day. Ah, siku ya leo ni siku ambayo ni tofauti. You know the day we have the Lord's table is a very special day. Siku ya leo ni siku tofauti. Amen. Amen. And God has come to wash us. Na Mungu amekuja ili atusafishe. We are washed away now. Tunaenda kusafishwa. God has washed us. Mungu ametusafisha. We are going to receive him with thanksgiving. Tunaenda kumpokea na ushuhuda. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Father in the name of Jesus. You are a faithful God. You are a loving Father. We thank you for leading us to your promised land. Because you have said you have washed us and Lord we shall live in the land you promised our ancestors. We thank you Lord tonight. We bless your name. We glorify you Jehovah. Because it's only about you. Thank you for enabling us to be here. Thank you for blessing us and blessing us to another level. Thank you Lord for that sister. Thank you for that brother. Jehovah Lord they have raised their hearts. Jehovah In Jesus mighty name I pray and believe. Amen. God bless you. Shangilia leo la Bwana kwa makofi na kujilegea. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tuna mshukuru Mungu sana na tunabarikiwa sana. Amena. Kuanza siku ya ine, siku ya tano mpaka leo naamini tumemwona Mungu akifanya miujiza. Ni wakati wamebarikiwa nyosha mkono wako na unashangilia kwa makofi pia lakini. Haleluya. Baba tunashukuru sana kwa kubariki na Mungu azidishe maradufu. Haleluya. Amen amen. Amen. Baba yetu anatoka Kenya. Ukiangalia Kenya na hapa ni bali sana. Ukihisabia mabonda ngapi yamevuka siko mingi sana. Amen. Acha na sisi pia tumwangalie ngawaji juisi atakayokunywa njiani wakati anarudi kwenda nyumbani. Bwana Yesu atusaidie sana. Tutaomba kikapo na tunaimba nyimbo ya wokovu namba 16 verse moja tu na unajiandaa kwa sadaka yako ya kumbariki mtumishi wa Mungu. Vile unavyomubariki mtumishi wa Mungu, Mungu naye vile vile atakubariki. Atumubariki yeye 
lakini tunambariki Mungu. Amen amen. Kupitia hii sadaka utakayotoa hapa na mimi Mungu pia atakukumbuka kwa maisha yako. Hii sadaka yako itazungumuza badala yako. Kwa hiyo acha Mungu akubariki kwa chochote ambacho umejitayarisha nacho kwa leo wende kukitia hapa ili Mungu pia akukumbuke kwa maisha yako. Yoyote uona yo huko kati. Habitaji mziki tafadhali tutaemba tupile fili. Ya fa ya fa Thank you. 